I just wrote the words, you know, as, as you're speaking. I mean, this is everything I've written so far. So like, you know, taking, you know, cues and stuff like that. And um, the words that I am like highlighting on my card right now is turn on the lights. And I don't mean turn on the lights in, in your home. I'm talking about, you know, turn on the light that you need to shine world that is going to reveal to the world you know who you really are you know truly and authentically on the inside and, and i think the biggest problem that i see in a lot of people aaron and maybe you could uh, you know expand a little bit more on that uh is that a lot of people just lack the belief i mean you know we're talking about you riding your bike to a meeting we're talking about you you know declining a two dollar cup of coffee not having enough money to pay for that and you know you like totally hitting rock bottom and going from rock bottom to whatever it takes there's a light that you had to turn on you know there is you know the, the mentality of like yeah i know i can do this but do i really believe i can how long is it gonna take you know i'm a mom i'm pregnant i have more children coming i have all this stuff when in reality i'd say about 99 percent of the people that encountered exactly what you encountered would have threw in the top would have turned off the light and would have looked for another avenue to just survive life well i like i always think about three d words and uh they're not bad words but uh i think that people have no bad words today Aaron. come on we got we got to throw in at least one bad word today Okay. <laughs> I don't want you to be the one to say it because I ain't saying. Hey, I'm from Philadelphia originally, so you know I got that East Coast attitude, and you know it'll it'll slip in every once in a while when I get fired up. But um, I, I think that you know when I talk with my coaching clients, you know I talk about how how to get that light to turn on, right? And and in some cases it comes from a place of desperation, and I was desperate. I mean, we were getting married two weeks later. And I'm embarrassed to admit that I was looking forward to the fact that we had invited so many people to our wedding because I was like, fingers crossed that some of the wedding gifts would be cash and help us pay our mortgage. Like we were desperate, you know? And um, the the other one is like, you know, you see the the hard drivers and they, they're coming from a place of determination. So like, I'm determined to win no matter what. And a lot of times when it's determination, then there is some kind of belief in there. There's some kind of like hardwired, you know, courage to go in spite of adversity. And then the third thing, which I think is what we need to help people tap into actively any day, any time, regardless of where you came from, regardless of what you're going through is decisiveness. So. It's up to us every single day to decide where we want to go from here and what kind of life we want to build for ourselves, regardless of what got us to where we are today, regardless of external circumstances or anything of the sort. And, you know, in the Miracle Morning, I think it was Hal Elrod that, that said um, this quote that I've had in front of me ever since, and I probably read that in 2015, I read it every single day. Where I am is a result of who I've been but where I go depends entirely on who I choose to be starting today. And there's power in the word who I choose to be starting today. So every day you get up and you ask yourself, how did I do yesterday? How did I do last year? Well, who really gives a crap? Who do you wanna be? Who do you choose to be? Mm -hmm.